girl mass is so real because I'm actually viewing this as free money. I'm actually about to get loads of money. Oh my god! Secure the goods. Oh my goodness. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so, so well. I have cheated a little bit this week. I usually start all my weekly vlogs on a Monday. It's actually Wednesday. This should be the third upload of the week. So hopefully you can excuse me on that one. I've just been super busy. I've been trying to get up loads of content for you guys. I haven't filmed a Zara haul in so long and I just had loads of bits I wanted to show you. So yeah, I was really glad. I finally found the time to sit down, but unfortunately the weekly vlog is gonna have taken a little bit of a hit because it's already Wednesday, we're already halfway through the week. I am, of course, heading up into London. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go back. I had loads of stuff to return. I had a Zara return. I'm literally at the station. What do I do? Unless we go today and then we go another day as well. Maybe we'll go to Bassey Power Station tomorrow and then we'll take it back there. Can't believe it, what the hell? That was my one job for the day. The whole reason we're going here is because I had a Zara return, basically. Well, it's not true. I love their new collection. It's screaming Mew Mew. I wanted to try it all on. There's a dress that I'm literally hunting down for, for my friend. So I was gonna go and see if they have that. <sighs> What do we do? Okay, right, we're gonna carry on the day. We're gonna carry on the day as it is. No Zara returns today, and then maybe we will, I've got a gym class tomorrow, and we'll go to Battersea Power Station in the evening. We'll do it like that. I've straightened my hair a little bit more today. Like, usually it's quite flicky on the ends, and like bouncy, but I've had it a little bit more straight today, and I feel like it looks super long, so I'm loving that today. Lip combo of the day is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I mean, look how tiny that is. I've literally had it since it was about quadruple the size. And then just the summer fridays over the top this one is i'm sure it's like pink sugar yeah pink sugar Mwah, perfect right i might see if i can get a new one of these today like look how much i've loved that i've only got that tiny little bit left i saw sophia and chintzio in their vlog they picked up the green one so i might give that one a go but then i do like this one because it's a little bit pinky it's got like a little bit of a tint to it so yeah maybe we'll stop off in space and cake i've also seen that summer fridays have bought out loads of new lip oils so yeah definitely want to stop off in space and k definitely want to stop off in zara i can't believe i forgot that return i can't believe it like that was one thing i had to remember it's because rob was facetiming me and it was just not to blame it on him but it kind of was his fault so I've got my umbrella as well today because it's not a very nice day it's just an excuse for us to go to batty power station tomorrow so i'm trying not to be too down about it let's go let's get out of here busy day things to see places to go people to see oh no that's it pieces people to see places to go things to do bye obviously the first stop is zara and they've just got like some really cute really different bits in at the moment like i love this i've been seeing this all over tiktok and just imagine this in the summer with the tan on holiday that is a me kind of dress like i love dresses like this i just pull them out every summer and then this is like a little bit different but anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting and I'll try them on for you and let you know as we go through. This makes me so excited for summer. Little white dresses. I mean, this isn't little, it's super, super long. But oh my God, this is just me in a dress. I mean, this bit is really, really tiny. So I don't know how this will work like if you do have slightly bigger boobs, but luckily I don't. This is so cute. I think I might pick this up tomorrow when I bring my returns and then I can just do an exchange. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with that. I think it's so, so, so cute. Just imagine this, like, slick back hair, big chunky gold hoops in the evening on holiday. Oh my god, it's going to look so cute. I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm stressed, okay? Sorry, I love this dress. We'll come back to this. I just tried that on. Now, I've seen it all over TikTok, but I've not really seen anyone try it on. I've kind of just seen it on the hanger like this. And now I understand why. The dress I have on is a size small. This dress is a size small that I just had on. This is also a size small. Wow. This is made for a Sylvanian family. He thought I was gonna have to be cut out of it. But we're out of it. But there's no try on clip of this. Honestly, unless you are Thumbelina, then don't bother buying it. But this, on the other hand, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. This bit is a little bit loose, but I think that's because I can't get it all the way done up, just because I'm on my own. But I just love it. It's so fitted, it fits lovely. I love that you can really cinch this in. And I love this little white strap. You know I love a little white dress in the summer. And I just think that this just will look really, really nice with a tan. So again, this has kind of been a little bit all over TikTok, so I'm worried if I don't get it now 
then I won't be able to get it. So should we get it now? And we'll go home, we'll think about it. And then we're going to Battersea anyway. I've got returns to do tomorrow anyway. So I can just add it to that if not. I think, how much is it? How much is that? 35.99. It is so nice. Little white slides in the summer, little white heels. I'm sold. I just met the cutest girl in the Zara changing room. She was so, so lovely. So basically, I am trying this on. I'm not sure, this is a medium and I probably could have done with a small. We didn't have any smalls out there. And I just wasn't sure. So I opened the curtain and kind of stood back so I could get like a proper view. And she was like, oh my God, that looks amazing on you. And then we were just chatting. She also had this, she was trying this on and she said she had to size up to a large. So make sure that you're sizing up if you want to try this on. It made me feel a little bit better about you know the panic i had when trying this on um but yeah i'm not 100 percent on this i can't lie i feel like the skirt is something my nan would wear and obviously love that girl she's super cute but i don't know if i want to be you know twinning but the material's lovely it's that um poly what do they call it like polyamide something material it's lovely it's giving skims it's super thick it's not see-through it's not really clinging to anything this would be really cute for someone else Maybe my nanny Anne, but not for me, unfortunately. So started off with these two. I absolutely love these two. Wasn't quite sure, wasn't quite sure. Definitely hate. Definitely, definitely hate this. Again, I'm having the same problem that I did with that little box pleat skirt last week. My bum is actually hanging out the back of it. Um, it's super tiny. It's basically a belt. I'm not sure. And it's this, this combo together, it's giving safari vibes. So unfortunately, it's a no from me. needs to remove apple pay from my phone it is so ridiculous but i thought i'm actually returning loads of it tomorrow and i sold quite a few things on vintage recently so technically girl mass that is finest this is kind of free but i'm just heading into primark now gonna have a little look through their underwear section can't beat having a mooch through the primark underwear section primark used to have the best flannels but now they only do these little what are they cleansing pad things but you know me, I love a flannel. I love a flannel, and they used to be the best ones. Primark, if you're listening, we want the flannels back. This purple set is so cute. They've not got my size, I need a small. Um, oh, this blue, I've not seen this blue before. That's so cute. Maybe I'll just pick up like a black one. I feel like, yeah, look, let's pick up a black. And then maybe a gray. I don't think I've had the gray one before. Oh, I'm getting all tangled. Oh. Okay, obviously I don't need the grey. Right, let's go for the white then. Just picking up some basics. What is that alarm? Good morning everyone, it is the next day. I've remembered my Zara return this morning, so we're on a little bit of a better start than we were yesterday. Heading up to Battersea Power Station, which I feel like I've said for the 15th millionth time. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. because I actually ended up leaving London a little bit earlier yesterday than I'd hoped to. I just had like this really weird on edge feeling. Like I constantly felt like someone was following me or that someone was gonna take my handbag, which is really not like me. I love London. I worked in London for five years. Like I'm always up there and it's not like I'm like a country girl that's just gone to the big city for the first time. Like I'm always up there. But I just felt this really weird, on edge vibe and it got to a certain point and I was like, you know what, we're, we're just not enjoying this. So let's just go home, start a new day tomorrow. I mean, it is an awful day today. It is raining, it's gloomy, it's drizzly, but I'm thinking the shops should be empty because Bassey Power Station, like if you've ever been, then it's kind of indoors, outdoors. It's not like the Bentall Centre, which is completely indoors. Um, so I'm fingers crossed it'll be a little bit quieter. So I'm looking forward to that. Go on then, go on, I flashed you. No? Okay. Like, what? What is she doing? Oh, I just honestly can't be doing it today. I got up early this morning and I went to a gym class. Well, I say get up early. The gym class started at half nine. Usually I'm more of a lunchtime girly, so I'll get up, I'll have breakfast. Whereas this morning I had a class at half nine. My alarm went off at half eight. I didn't want to eat because I felt like it was too early. And I did the class and I wasn't sure whether I was going to die 
be sick, pass out. It was just really, really traumatic. So I've got class book tomorrow for 12.30. I thought that is, I'm never, ever, ever getting up that early again. Or not even getting up early, but like I'm not doing a class that early ever again. Like it just didn't feel right for my body. The guy who was leading the class, I do his classes all the time. And he was like, are you okay? I must have looked really, really rough. And I was like, no. <laughs> but it is quite nice because now I'm done for the day. Whereas like, what is the time now? Yeah, it's 12.54. So, well, I just literally pulled off in second gear. Um, yeah, it's almost one o'clock. So I would only really be halfway through. The only annoying thing is this bag is so heavy and I've literally got to get it on the tube. Um, but once it's gone, it's gone. So I'll be glad for the extra little bit of money. It's so funny, like girl mass is so real because I'm actually viewing this as free money. I'm actually about to get loads of money. So I'm really excited to nip into Space and K, honestly. I I'm going to be unstoppable. I'm going to be unstoppable. <laughs> Survived the tube journey with this huge bag. I'm literally walking down some steps now thinking I'm gonna slip over at any given moment. But Zara's gonna be my first stop because obviously I wanna drop off this huge bag. But I just love Battersea Power Station. The only thing it's missing is a Primark. Like I it would be my dream shopping centre if there was a Primark here. But I get it's like a bit of a sharing us so don't think a Primark's coming anytime soon. Give you a little OOTD actually now I've dropped off that big Zara bag. So Adenola, Adenola, Zara and then my really disgusting really old night trainers and then my obviously my Missy Empire bag that literally comes everywhere with me and then yeah here we are. There's the dress that I tried on yesterday. Oh, I love that. I definitely need that for summer. It looks so cute. And they've got so many nice bits in here. Like, look at this. This is really cool. It's like a jumper bodysuit. And I love the colour. This pink is so me. Oh, my God. This set. That little vest top and then the matching, like, long maxi skirt. That would be so nice. This is so cute. I just wish these little skirts fit me. They're just like never really, they, they're too short and the waist, I can't get it right. I love this. It's like all of the Mew Mew dupes here. So cute. How nice is this trench? Oh my God, they've got some amazing bits in this Zara. This is my favorite Zara now, new favorite Zara, 89 pounds. I'm not sure if it will beat my H&M trench that I love. That is super cute. I wasn't going to try anything on today because I've got slick back hair, you know, things going on and off the head is just not good with this kind of hairstyle, right? But I've seen this dress. Oh my God, right? If I was going on a first date on Valentine's Day, this is what I would be wearing. I'm literally obsessed with it. How cute is this? I just love like the little frills, the tie. And the colour, it's looking quite orangey on camera, but it's like a really bright, deep red. Like it's like a real cherry red. Oh my God, and it's got like a low back. This is so cute. The camera doesn't really do it justice because it's making me look very pale and the dress look very orange. So it's just not really a vibe right now, but I promise you, you need to try this on. Right, I may as well show you everything else I picked up to try on. Whilst we're in here, I managed to get into the Thumbelina dress from yesterday. I sized up to a large like that girl recommended and it fits really nice around here, but then it's just very baggy all like around the top section. And I, why do they put in these weird fake nipples? Like I just don't get it. Really cute, I thought I'd just show you as I have it on. And then I've got one more little set. Okay, so not quite the try on you was probably expecting, but this little hole is just way too small to fit my head in and not get makeup on it and not pull my hair out um but the skirt is so cute i can imagine this is like such a vibe so i'm trying to hold it in a way that kind of makes it look cute can't believe skater skirts are coming back but this red dress oh my god i'm obsessed let me show you the little tag so that is the code picked it up in a size small and it is 35.99 i have got a wedding coming up that this would just look so nice for but i did hear that if you wear red to a wedding it means you slept with the groom so won't be buying that. This has to be the most aesthetically pleasing shopping centre ever. Look how big the Zara is as well. That's what we've just come out of. I just love it in here. I always say like I want one of those apartments up there that's like right above the Zara. I've literally never seen it this empty here. Like it's crazy. I guess because I normally come on the weekend. But it's so nice and quiet. I'm in Space NK and they've got all the Sol de Janeiro, the new spray. Mm. Oh, 
I kind of wish I hadn't sprayed that all on me. I don't know if I like it. It's very different. It's very different from their other ones. It's not very summery. The pink and the orange are definitely my faves. And then I've got this one in a little travel kit, which I'm saving for my next garden holiday. It's got like the cream, the shower gel, and a little mini spray. Found the Summer Fridays lip butter balm that I wanted. And they've also got their little lip oils. This one is in the shade Pink Cloud. Oh my God, I'm literally smashing it. Oh, that's lovely. Can you see that? It's got like a really nice pink tint to it. I don't need both. I've literally got so many like lip balms, lip oils. So I'm gonna take this to the till and pick this up. Oh, actually, I've seen these little lip balms everywhere and these are perfect because they're SPF 50 and my lips get so burnt in the sun. Got a rose, what is this? Just like the plain color. Shame they don't have a pinky one of this, otherwise I definitely would have picked this up. I also, sorry, <laughs> jumping back to Summer Fridays, I really want to try this mask. It's the Jet Black Mask. You can use it as like a daytime moisturiser or like a night cream. So really want to try that. And if you've ever wondered what I smell like, it's a Gypsy Water by Byredo. Rob got me this for Christmas and look, even the test is empty. So everyone must be loving it. I think this was another one. When me and Alana went to Paris, that was the first time I smelled the Gypsy Water one. I think we really like this one as well. I just love how like cute their little bottles look. Although mine is still in the box. Like I'm one of those people that will keep everything in the box until like the box is disintegrating. I wonder if they got it in a candle. No, it doesn't look like it. Shower gel. Secured the goods and I'm now heading over to Noops to get myself a little hot chalk. I mean, is it even a weekly vlog if we don't do a little Noops run? I follow Sydney May Crouch on Instagram and she said that she got her phone stolen right next to the Noops I go to. So I'm going to put my phone, put my camera away and just be like super careful because I'm a bit nervous, especially after my experience yesterday. Maybe actually thinking about it, that's why I was a little bit jumpy yesterday because I'd seen on her story that she'd got mugged in London and then I guess I was just thinking about that like myself. Yeah, we're gonna go on a little walk along the river, get our steps in. I mean, I've already done a workout this morning, so I can't lie, I'm flagging, but nothing a little hot chop can't solve. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day and I've just finished getting ready for the morning and I was just about to test out my new little Space NK purchase. So I thought I'd quickly switch on the camera and try it together. All I've got on my lips at the moment is a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I am so excited. Honestly, this is just why I love being a girl. This is just the most exciting thing, like trying a new lip product. I just oh, can't wait. Oh my goodness, look how fresh that looks. For comparison, this is my old one. Very much loved. <gasps> okay, right. First of all, smell test. Oh my God, that smells incredible. Right, let's test it out then. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. You need to try this. See, I love this one, but I feel like this is just so refreshing. Like for a no makeup day, oh my God, I'm already obsessed. Like this is a bit nicer because it has like a bit of a pink tint to it. So it gives you something else. Like if you've got a little bit of makeup on or you've already got a liner on, but this for like a no makeup day, every day kind of lip balm. Oh my God, love these. I literally want to collect them all. And look how cute they look. I love the colors. I actually had to stop vlogging yesterday because I walked all the way to Noops, got my hot chocolate. My outside seat was taken, but I didn't really mind because it was a little bit drizzly. So I thought I'd just go and sit inside. And there was this cute little dog like running around, like jumping up. He was only a puppy. And you know when you see a cute dog and you go to like make eye contact with the owner and smile? It was Miles from Made in Chelsea. So I literally just spent the whole time with my AirPods in, sound off, just listening to him on FaceTime. It was so funny, because you know when you watch someone on TV, it, his voice was just so recognisable, it was so funny. So I was a little bit too shy to vlog yesterday, especially in the store. I don't mind so much vlogging outside, but inside I feel like it's a very small, intimate shop. I'm actually going to close off the vlog for this week. Thank you so, so much for watching, especially for making it all the way to the end. I love you millions, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.